Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Fallout 76 video. It's Thursday, that means it's time for us to go inside the vault. The weekly video where we go inside to see what is new coming to the world of Fallout 76. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just, just a little bit entertaining, please by all means follow, like, subscribe on all social media platforms. But especially right here on YouTube, it helps these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm and I'm able to give back more and do more giveaways. And right now, I have one going for No More Heroes 3, links down below in the description. Let's get started. Now, last week we had a huge QuakeCon reveal giving us Fallout Worlds a, a little more in depth view of that and a whole lot more that is coming to the world of Fallout 76. Now after that it brings us to this week and inside the vault this week he has some pretty exciting news ladies and gentlemen. First off the next step for Nuclear Winter. Now as they shared in the panel at QuakeCon Fallout Worlds update that will release on September the 8th is going to introduce public worlds and custom worlds to Fallout 76. They cannot wait to get these two new modes into the community hands. Now, because they're going to offer players all kinds of ways to experience Appalachia, additionally, they want to implement a few more secondary expansions for Daily Ops, which will offer a challenging new weekend event, more locations, a new enemy group and new rewards. Now, as they did announce earlier this year, they are going to be saying goodbye to Nuclear Winter when Fallout World updates arrive. All players will receive rewards for their efforts in Nuclear Winter, as well as making yourself a, a, a little bit cooler at your camp. That's right, you're gonna get a nuclear theme winter cosmetic that will be available in adventure mode. Now, if you were looking for some of those old nuclear winter items, you'll be able to get them. Now, everyone who completed at least one nuclear winter match will receive a special nuclear winter theme pennant, as you see right here, that they can build in their camp. Now, these will be added to player's account within the week of the two following Fallout Worlds update. On patch day, all players who participated in nuclear winter mode will receive perk coins based on their nuclear winter progress. You'll get six perk coins per nuclear winter perk car you've earned, up to a maximum of 600, as well as one perk coin per overshare ticket you've earned up to a maximum of 200. That is a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Now, they do have a little caveat here. Previously, they've mentioned that players would receive six per coins per overshare rank, which was incorrect. Players will actually receive six per coins per perk card they've earned from Nuclear Winter Play. And that is a huge difference, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, expect a whole lot in the upcoming weeks. Now here are the events that have a chance to grant you the Nuclear Winter Cosmetics on completion. So if you didn't get after those old cosmetics or you're a new player, this is how you're gonna get the Nuclear Winter items after the update. All right, you have the Colossal Problem, Encrypted, Project Paradise, Scorch Earth, and Limited Time Events, Festive, Scorch, and Treasure Hunter events as well. So you have a couple of opportunities to get yourself some of these nuclear winter items. They didn't just say you can't get them anymore. And that is a good thing. Now, while they wanted to make sure you still have opportunities to earn former nuclear winter rewards in adventure mode, they also know that many of the players work really hard to unlock certain items by raiding up. As a result, they felt that some of the statues and trophies should only remain available to players who achieve them by playing Nuclear Winter. The following items will remain exclusive to your progress in Nuclear Winter, and players will no longer be able to earn these once it is offline. So, these are the rewards. The Bronze, Silver, Gold Nuclear Winter Trophy, and the Bronze, Copper, and Marble Nuclear Winter Statue. If you didn't earn it, you will never be able to get those again. Now finally, they received feedback from a lot of players in the community and they would likely open up 
Vault 51. Yeah, it's gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen. Once the Fallout Worlds update arrives, they're gonna crack open the vault door so that we can poke around in Vault 51. Shutting down Nuclear Winter was an incredible difficult decision, and they want to let everybody know that you're gonna be compensated, and that is a good thing. Next up, roll the dice with the purveyor. Now, if you got legendary script burning a hole in your pocket, well then, we have the purveyor murmur to take those for you. We have a new mystery pick event that is going to start on August the 26th through the 30th. That will start at 12 p.m. Eastern time, that's 9 a.m. Pacific time. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Inside the vault this week was very, very good. Nuclear Winter is in it, so if you want to get after those old items, this is the time to do it. You have until the next update. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Gamer, I upload a wide variety of videos from a whole bunch of different games. But you know, that's me, my bae. Ranger full updates, tips and tricks, guys, and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, I do a ton of giveaways, but it's up to you, the community, the players, if you want to see this channel grow and do more giveaways. So continue to watch, and I'll continue to do more. Thank you, everybody. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.